Are you looking for how to change the angle of a line inside of Fusion 360? In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to adjust angles while sketching. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and my goal is to help you guys learn the basics of Fusion 360. So today we're jumping straight into Fusion 360 and I wanna show you guys how to be precise with your angle measurements. The first thing that we're gonna do is need to start a sketch on this new document that I started here. So I'm gonna go up to the Create Sketch tool here. I'm going to click on which plane I wanna do the top. So I'm gonna click our viewfinder over here to the top click on this plane and there we go we can start our sketch now the next thing we're gonna have to do is actually give ourselves something to create an angle off of so i'm gonna use the line tool here which is a hotkey of l on your keyboard if you want to use that instead and we can start drawing anywhere but i usually suggest starting off of the center point here on our document so i'm going to start from our center point and i'm going to be dragging out my cursor so we can draw a line now as soon as we move this off of perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal uh, you're going to see that there's actually a second measurement that pops up that allows us to see what the degrees um, of our angle is currently but if we go ahead and start typing in numbers, you're gonna see that we're only adjusting the length of the line. So if I want this to be 40 millimeters long, um, you know, I can do that, but I can't actually adjust the angle until I hit the tab key. So once I hit the tab key, you can see that it starts to highlight uh, that degrees that it's showing us, and I can type in any amount of degrees that I would like. So say we want this to be 15 degrees off of this center line. Um, it will be able to do exactly that by hitting a tab, switching to this uh, box here, select that number and then we can go ahead and hit enter and that will give us two constraints with our line so we know that it's going to be 40 millimeters long and it's going to be 15 degrees off of the center line which it actually gives us uh, a construction line here to know that this is what we're 15 degrees off of now if we ever decide we want to change this uh, amount uh, we can just double click on this number and say we want to double that and change it to 30 you can see that it actually went in and changed this angle for us um, just by changing this number and we can do that as many times as we need to uh, and if we ever need to go back we can just change this to 15 and it'll go back to what we originally had so that's great if we have one line and we want to adjust the angle of that one line but say we come up here to our line tool again and create a second line um, and we want these two lines to have an angle between them you can see currently what it's doing is drawing the degrees or the angle off that center line uh, that we have up here that construction line and so we can go ahead and click this anywhere we want we can make sure that it's 40 uh, millimeters long again and so if I click this in place um, you can see if I move some of these out of the way just to make this a little bit clear um, that there's no constraint here I didn't type in an angle so there is no uh, constraint on the angle and one way that I can actually add that constraint whether I want it to be to this line or this first line that we drew uh, is going up here to the create tab coming all the way down to the bottom to the sketch dimension which is the hotkey D on your keyboard and I can click on the first line that we drew and the second line that we drew and now I can dictate what angle I want this to be uh, and I can put this measurement wherever I would like so say I drag it all the way out here I want that measurement to be exactly 30 degrees and then there we go it's going to uh, constrain the second line to being 30 degrees off of this first one and just like the uh, degrees over here, I can go ahead and change this at any time just by double clicking on this number. Now, something a little bit more advanced, but uh, incredibly helpful. If I drag out this degrees here uh, for the first angle, we can actually type in formulas to this text box here as well. Uh, so we can do things as simple as say 15 times two, that will give us the same at 30 degrees. So I can show if it's uh, 15 times three, it's gonna change that to 45. Uh, and now our angle is a little bit different. So if you needed to do some math uh, this program can actually calculate that math out for you um, but where this comes really helpful is say we have this 15 degree angle here if we wanted to make uh, the second angle that we have twice as big as this first angle we could go ahead and click on this measurement and it puts in exactly that value which is going to be d2 and we can say times 2 and that's going to make this 30 and it's actually telling us that it's doing uh, the formula with this fx uh, indicator right here so this is so helpful because if we go up here now and change this to 10 it's going to automatically change uh, the second value to 20 uh, and so anything that we change this first angle to because we have a formula now that's based off of this first angle uh, this will automatically update so like I said I know that's a little bit more advanced um, but it is extremely helpful depending on what type of 
project you're doing. Uh, and at any time, if you want to see what uh, this dimension is called, uh, you can just hover over it and leave your cursor for a second and you can see that first uh, thing that says D2, that is how you can reference uh, this measurement inside of your formula. So if I hover over this first uh, measurement that we made here, you can see that it's D1. Uh, the same thing with down here, this is D3, and then this dimension is D4. So if I ever did want to uh, change what this formula was calculated off of, I just need to know what the exact measurement that I want to reference is called. And one last bonus tip that I'm going to throw in here as this is a 3D modeling software uh, is I'm going to finish our triangle here just by adding an extra line. You can see that it's finished because it highlighted the middle in blue. Uh, and I'm actually going to extrude this into the third dimension and show you guys uh, something else that I find extremely helpful. Um, you can see when I extrude this into the third dimension, it actually takes away those measurements. Uh, so something I learned that you can do is go up to your sketches here, hit this down caret and right click on sketch one and show dimension. You also want to make sure that this little eyeball symbol uh, is showing and doesn't have the line through it uh, and that will allow you to see sketch one even in uh, this view. You can actually change these angles as well uh, inside of your third dimension. So if you want to change any of this, you saw I changed this to 15, that changed this automatically to 30. Uh, that really helped me when I was starting to learn this program. Just wanted to share that with you guys. If you're interested in anything else that I have going on learning Fusion 360 more or 3D printing, which is my main focus right now, uh, you can check the description down below. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around.